Hi everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Sunshine. Uh, let's see. So last time we got that 100 coin mission in Rico Harbor, and now we need to get 100 coin missions in all the other levels. So let's go to Gelato Beach first. Well, it's not like you care. I mean, it's not like you actually have to prepare for anything. A oh, watermelon does. This one's definitely the best. Actually, one could say there sort of is an easy way to get coins. Because what you can do, well, I'll show you what you can do. Well, first of all, one of the easiest way to get ways to get coins here is to spray cataclacks, and then you jump on them, boom, that's one coin for each cataclack. Now, this is only as good as the number of cataclacks that you do it for, so if you don't do it with all of the cataclacks, then you're not going to get uh, very many coins. So, you gotta do it with lots of them. Ideally, all of them, because it's kind of hard to get all the... Um, all 100 coins in this level, even though there is kind of a... a sort of a shortcut that we can use, which I'll get, get into in just a second. Um, if you're not sure if you've done a cataclack yet or not, just go ahead and do it again, because it's not like there's anything wrong with, uh, you know, doing it again. But you, th you see this watermelon? If we go ahead and intentionally pop this, boom, that's a coin right there. And now another watermelon's gonna grow. And if we pop that one, boom, that's another coin. So, um, I could sit there and grind for coins, and then just fast forward it. I guess that's one option if you wanna, you know, be pretty... Not exactly quick, but at least you know you're gonna get all the coins. But I'll show you a few other spots that you can get some nice coins in this level. Uh, I am gonna try to avoid that guy. Um, oof, this is so reminiscent of that eighth shine. The thing is, if you take a watermelon that is not the largest one, I never showed this way back in the day. And I'm actually, I'm not sure if I've ever actually done this, but I read about it online that if you take a watermelon, even if it's not the largest one, over to, well, only if it's not the largest one, over to the little shack, they'll actually give you coins for it. They just won't give you the shine sprite, it's the, you know, it's the idea. So yeah, we, I mean, this is one of the smaller watermelons, obviously, but if we bring it up, you just assume, well, that's not bad, but not great, it's not bigger than any of those three over there, but you get all these coins. So, that's pretty sweet. Actually, they also stick around pretty long. So you get lots of coins doing that. If I remember correctly, there are also some... Maybe not. I thought there some coins down under here, but maybe not. I guess. I guess not. Um, okay, where else could we find some coins? There's probably some in the coral reef. I'll leave that out, because I don't want to do that. Um, let's go do more cat quacks, I suppose. Already a quarter of the way there, so... It's not taking too long. But yeah, you could take watermelons and just grind by, uh, you know, grind for coins by just getting more and more, you know, continue to take the watermelon because they'll grow, and to the best of my knowledge, they'll keep giving you coins for watermelons that are not the largest one. So that's an option as well, if you're having trouble finding, uh, some other places for coins. As is that, like we just did, uh, on the other side of the level. So you can get some coins that way, let's see, what other ways can we get coins? Obviously, when you see a cat bike, just go ahead and, uh, shoot. Get it, Tomorrow. I hate when this happens, because you can't get the coin. Oh well. When you see a cat bike, go ahead. Whoa! Oh, yeah, there's this weird tree there, I never- Okay, this is just a sketchy area of the level, let's just not be over there. Man, you got trees coming out of the ground, coins going through walls, I don't even know. Um, I think there's some coins down the staircase, right? Yes, a few, we already got that shine, so we can just pick the coins. Let's also get to this guy, well, it's not exactly what I had in mind. Get that coin, alright, that's 40 right there, only 60 more, it's not too bad. You can also come up here, uh, and you can find some coins up in this area, actually up in the ropes, which we haven't even been to in this level before. Uh, you could spray these green birds, they'll drop coins if you spray them enough, like the yellow. The yellow bird, how they drop the shine, these will drop coins. It's not really worth it, I think, because it's so much work to, uh, actually spray the, those birds. Oh, look at all those coins out there. You see, we well, should be able to get those in time. Uh, just for kicks, I'm just gonna let that roll off, because it gave us so much difficulty, so I'm just going to roll it off and not care about it. Ha 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 ha. Anyway. Uh, I thought there were some, some coins up here. It'd be a good choir. Yeah, there's some way up there. I guess it's up to you whether it's really worth it to get up on these rows, but I figure I'll show areas where you can get coins. Oh shoot. Man on that one, please. Alright, good word. Actually, I don't know if that's even gonna help us get back up. Probably not. Shoot. Are we like stuff down here then? We might need to get the rocket nozzle actually to get those coins. That would be a pain. Uh. Well, we should be able to do it if we. You know, actually. You know, if we're over here, it should be easier to get up to. I don't know. This is a little bit more difficult than I was expecting, but. Whatever. Yeah, so I was trying to get up to this rope. Once we're up here, we can get up here. Oh, well... You know what, I'm not gonna bother going back up there, but you know what, you could go up there. And there were, I don't know, six or seven coins up there along the blue point. I guess we'll be going back up there for the blue point eventually, but... Whatever, for now. Uh, head back over to this here island. You see on this swing, like they had in Keanu Village. There's some coins here that we can nab real quick. Uh, I don't know, there's still use actually quite a few for us to get. And I don't know exactly where a bunch of others are. I'm trying to avoid getting the blue point. Just so I can get that. <laughs> there we go. Man, I'm making some weird sound. Alright, whatever. Oh, look, Strigo Harbor, cool. Oh, it's like some, we can get some coins up here. It's a little bit hard to get up here, but 
I hope we don't have to have rocket health to do it. Alright, here we go. Just a few spin jumps and you're on your way. Uh, let's see. Yeah, well, that's halfway. You know, probably for the majority of these ones, I'm just gonna, like, off screen some watermelon grinding. And, you know, popping watermelons or turning them in. Uh, and getting coins that way. Since, you know, this is. <laughs> we've gone just about through the whole level and I haven't seen another 50 coins that we could have gotten except maybe Catquacks and if we had gone all the way up the rope and other things like that. But it's probably easier to just do it the watermelon way, you know? Since that's consistent and. You know, pretty easy, relatively, you know? You know, I'm saying, you know, a whole lot. What do you know now? What am I supposed to do? How am I supposed to know if you don't know what I'm talking about? Oh, well, there's blue coin. Alright, whatever. I'll just remember that I got that one. You're gonna have to, I already have like five blue coins. I'm gonna have to start remembering which ones I accidentally picked up and which ones I still have dead. Alright, that's 58. I think I'm gonna do the rest mostly by watermelon. Because I only need like four watermelons and popping a couple watermelons. Maybe we can get some of these cat quacks too, long way. Uh. Yeah, so no real reason for me to commentate the rest because we already talked about what I'll be doing and it's not particularly complicated. So I'll just... Hey, wasn't there a watermelon over here? Maybe we have to go... Oh, I guess once we turn in the watermelon, it disappears, so we have to turn in like this one. Well, that's a bit of a pain. Oh well. So I'll just see you guys when I finish up getting the coins, or when we, uh, when we get up to 100. So, see you then. Yeah, I guess we'll just remember that I got that blue coin as well, so... Man, a lot of blue coins amidst the yellow coins here, but... Okay, that's another blue coin. Got enough of that. How am I supposed to get those blue coin, those yellow coins? I mean, you see, maybe if I. Well, oh, here are the yellow coins that I thought there were. It's still still wobbling up there. How cool is that? Well, it's not that cool. It's kind of impressive, I suppose. Okay, this is our 100th coin. There we go. We got it. I spent those last 10, 15 coins I got just by running into the, into the watermelon over and over again. But, uh, oh well. Okay, that's our 81st, or 82nd shine. And that's the 100 coin mission in, uh, Gelato Beach. Right? <laughs> uh, even though my recording says we're at 21 minutes here, I think I'm gonna go ahead and head to the next 100 coin shine because the next one's really easy in Pino Park. Uh, if I remember correctly. It's actually, it takes much less work than all the others. It's like actually one of the easiest shines in the whole game. Okay, so the mission that we're after here, I think. Oh shoot, I don't remember actually which one it is. I don't think it's... It's probably like this one. Okay, let's just guess. But, uh, we'll see. You don't even have to go in the park to do this, that's how... That's how easy this is. Yeah, okay, these guys are what I was after. So all you gotta do here, you just spray the beach. Boom. Boom. Coins. They just pop up like wildflowers. I mean, you do kinda have to watch out for these guys if they don't... Whoa! Whoa, 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 calm down, dude. I wasn't expecting that many coins. See, look, we're already up to 15 coins. And before I destroy these guys, I suppose I should show you this. Look, they stole my hat. Look, Mario has no hat. This is the only way to do it in the game, and you'll see that one of them has stolen, or is wearing Mario's hat. And you'll steadily lose life as long as you don't have your hat. So, try to get it back. I guess you just spray them and then jump on top, and uh, get your five points, as well as your hat, and then spray the beach some more.
Oh wow, I guess getting on Yoshi, if you're having trouble finding the rest of the points, Yoshi will help bring some more amount of Oh, I'm gonna get a blue coin. Alright, we'll worry about that later. Oh, by the way, check this out. While Yoshi is spraying, he can actually, like, eat at the same time. Isn't that kind of, isn't that kind of gross? That kind of grosses me out. But whatever, we only have two more coins. And then we'll have all 100. Didn't mean to get off of Yoshi there. Just got a little bit too excited with all these 100 coin missions. Alright, there we go. Now the shine goes way over there. But, uh, there we go. One of the easiest shines in the game, without a doubt. Uh, 100 coins in Peanut Park. Alright, there we go, that's our 83rd shine, and that's the 100 coin shine in Pino Park. 